You're live. It says we're live? It says you're live. Okay. All right. I guess we're live. Happy Friday, everyone. It is um, time to do some Q&A and my son, Ryan. Hi. So in case you guys hadn't seen him before, does it look like we got some people okay. coming in? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Well, uh, one way or the other, this will post on YouTube uh, within, by the time we're done. So we got people coming yep. in now? All right. Cool. So where's everybody from? Tell us where you're from. So Illinois, Illinois, Norway. Norway. Oh. Indiana. Right. Norway. That's cool. Norwegians. Norwegians. Um, so we made it to California. Canada, Pennsylvania. We made it to the kids' house. Oklahoma, so and North Dakota, we are going Colorado. To do, um, you guys kind of... We're doing a uh, live Q&A. If you guys don't have any questions, Virginia, Texas, this won't last long, but if you guys Kansas, have questions, South shoot, Carolina, them, shoot them to us. Tomorrow, we're getting ready Missouri. to go do uh, an actual event. Ryan's got a, a setup. We're going to do uh, probably do some video tomorrow. Um, his little trainer, you just got your sign trainer put together. Mm -hmm. And this will be the very first event, right? This will be the first one. It will actually only be the second time I've taken it out on the road, like hooked up to my truck so. so what size is it it's uh i think it's six foot by ten foot so i mean it's it's pretty small but we'll make it work yep yep you'll be in there most of the time i'll yeah. be out talking to customers or whatever so that was one of the reasons that i wanted to come over a day or two early than what we originally planned so that i could do this event with ryan so we're uh, uh we're excited about it it's actually not very far away it's what 10 miles away or something like that? Uh, not even that. Yeah. It's about yeah. 10 minutes away. Five yeah. Minutes away, so, something like that. Um, so anyway, you guys will see, I'll probably be doing a live from over there just to show you guys what it's like and show you the trainer and um, we've got a, we got a bunch of work to do on it in the morning for me. Yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to have it ready, but uh, I don't. Time kind of got away. So, uh, what... You're what yelling. did you want to talk about? Vic All right. is behind the camera and she wanted to save. I things. have a couple of things I want to talk about real quick. Uh, because we are in California. Everybody knows we're in California. Somebody says they like your shirt. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. So my, my, my quick things here. Um, when you email me. When you want to enter the contest, which you have until this coming Thursday, by the midnight Thursday night to enter, hi Brad, um, enter into the contest, you send me an email, vickywithdavesigns at gmail.com, you have until Thursday. Please do not email me from your phone where it just leaves me a phone number, or just write your first name. You gotta ha I have to have a first and last name. If somebody named Brian wins, and I've got 14 Brians on my list, we're in trouble. So... When you send me an email, please leave me your first and last name. Great shirt. Um, and then secondly, when you get your orders this week, if you if you're a premium member, related to my dad. If you're a premium member, yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Zip it. All right. <laughs> if you're a premium member, it's like being a and you <laughs> and you do not get your premium member templates, we will get you caught up. It's kind of a mishmash of who's printing out orders over there and, and that kind of stuff. So, zip it. That's right, Darren, uh, Darwin. Um, so, anyway, that's my announcement. Send me an email with your first and last name to enter the contest. Uh, if you don't get your templates, we will catch you up, and I apologize in advance. And you have until Thursday. Right. So, Joanne it? Willis says, Trump all the way, make America great again. That's right. Make women okay. cry again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, son. Yes, um, so, that's it for me. Uh, if anybody has any questions, just send me an email. Okay, uh, okay that's it. So, yeah, and uh, along those lines, if you guys have any problems with orders, anything that, that you need from me, uh, you guys know my email, eric at makerwoodsign.com. Um, it, again, if you guys are in Northern California, if you're in around, I'm we're really... actually in Escalon right now, but if you happen to be in the Stockton, Modesto, Escalon, Patterson area, um, I'm, I've got some time slots available. If, uh, if you want me to come by and we can kind of hang out and do some training, any questions that I can answer for you, just let me know. 
Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow the event actually. If you're, if you guys, anybody that's local, is going to be at um, what's the name of that fruit stand? Um, I I don't even know the it's name. It's like at the corner. Stand. It's on 120 and Jack Tone Road toward. Uh, it's near, in Ripon. I think it's technically in Ripon. Oh, is it near? Yeah, okay. Anyway. Real quick, um, the email addresses. Somebody's asking. John Bonks asked about the email addresses. They will be in the description once we're done with the video. So Eric gets it uploaded. It's Eric at makeawoodsign.com or Vicky with Dave signs at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think somebody had it as uh, Vicky with Dave sign. No, <laughs> but, but it's, somebody it's also squirrel. had Vicky Witch. Vicky Witch. Witch. Oh. Yeah, that was hilarious. I started laughing. He said, I didn't go through. I said, that's because you had Witch instead oh, of Wit. Exactly and it's right. like, hmm, what are you trying oh, to say? My high school friends would attest to that. <laughs> They don't uh, like so, you anymore uh, anyway, so. Uh, so any mm -hmm. questions on there yet? Um, um, other than comment. Email, just, just comments. And... Somebody asked about your flag, Ryan. Oh. So, um, turn, it, spin it, turn it this way just a smidge. So this is something that I actually came up with. I mean, you guys, I'm sure, all have seen my dad's template, right? So I just laid the template out, and, uh, and then I just carved it black and white, and I made it look rustic. And, uh, Hold it up. I'm going to... Um, Zoom in well, hold it over this way, babe. This, is the this blue way, line, this way, son, uh, son towards dad, because I, I kind of have. We don't have our tripod and stuff, so I'm trying to. Mom's working with subpar equipment. A subpar Sorry. equipment. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically, I, I carved the sign out and then um, used the 90 degree on uh, a couple of areas, you know, to make it look like burn holes, and then I just didn't sand off all of the the. But Black this is ink. flat bottom, so you're using the spiral up cut right. on the flat bottom? So spiral up cut on the flat bottom, profile for the lines. Oh, no, I do not buy signs, trust me. And then uh, <laughs> profile, oh, profile on, the, and on the stars? Profile on the stars, and then spiral up cut to cut out all of the, uh, what they would be, the red stripes, I guess. And yeah. then the background of the stars. Yeah. And then wherever the holes are, I just used a 90 degree. Yeah. Um, Looks cool. And then... I would imagine a band saw would be the best way to cut these out, but I have like a 15 year old jigsaw that I use, so, uh, but I will get a band saw. But yeah, these, they're pretty big sellers, and my next. How much project, do you get for one of those, son? I charge 65 for these because even though they're not that big, they're time consuming. There's a lot of work there. There's a lot of work there. Just cutting those stars takes a while. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, um, but my next thing is, uh, my next project, I'm going to be making a bigger one of these and see how that, how that works out. Hmm. It says, is there a preferred method of painting outside letters? Outset letters? It says outside, but I think outside. Outset letters? Um, paintbrush I, and paint. I use a paintbrush, and I like the one shot. Um, I don't have the video on me. That's the, where your suggestion would have been good to have the, be able to bring up a video. Tell me. Um, but I like the one shot paint. Um, if it's if it's going Hi, inside, you could use paint pens. Uh, you could even use um, like markers, like uh, felt markers, like sharpies, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, little permanent markers. Permanent markers. You could use those. I've used those many times when I was out carving on site. I used to use those exclusively because they dry immediately. I, uh, somebody asked what number of video, but all you got to do is go to the website to that little uh, search engine within, I'm not website, to YouTube in the search engine I'm in our channel and type in painting letters and it'll you'll see it. So what you're going to see is up at the top there'll be a search window, but then Hi, there'll Zara. be another search window down below with a little magnifier. That's where you, when you type something in there, I don't have my little cheat sheet on me, but when you type something in that bottom search window, there's two different ones. One that's down underneath the banner when you get to our channel, which is, you guys should be on our channel. Hi, Frank. Um, that one searches just our videos. So if you type in there painting, then everything that has to do with painting will come up. You can also go to the playlists, and um, I think there's a playlist called uh, Finishing or Color or something like that. So Everybody likes your shirt. Well, I'm a big hit. I was just laughing at dad because my daughter makes fun of me about how much I look like my dad. 
And the whole time he was talking, he was doing this with his hands. The same thing you do? Do that. Same thing. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be kind of fingers. Yeah. Short, chubby fingers. Nubbins. (laughs) Sometimes I'll be talking and I'll hear my dad and it's. All right, real quick. Uh. Come on, Granny. Okay. So this is my granddaughter. Come on. Okay. I don't. Can you? Nope. 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 Your heads. Too tall. Over here, baby. Go over there. Yeah, between you, Dad and Mom. This is my little girl. You're going to have to bend down, baby. Bend down. Okay. Yeah. All right, so she has an Instagram account. So what is it? G-E-R underscore records underscore 2003. So she's into music. She writes her own songs, plays the guitar. She's going to be big. <laughs> Huge. 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 <laughs> so go check her Instagram out. I think she has a YouTube channel too, right? I do. Um, Are you sure to rent Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. This makes my night. Okay. So what's your YouTube channel? Um, just Gwyneth Roten. Uh, don't laugh at me. Um, just, uh, my name just Gwyneth G-W-E-N-Y-T-H. Yes, she is. Y-T-H. Uh, huh? Go ahead. Uh, Roten, R-H-O-T-E-N. And somebody says, can you slow down and say your uh, Instagram again? Oh. Uh, yeah. A little G- slower. Yeah. G E R underscore records underscore two thousand three. There you go. Okay. You guys are gonna be amazed. <laughs> it's crazy how good she is. She's very talented. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She gets it from her mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't come from dad or grandpa. Come from dad. She gets it from her mom. I liked how you were doing your fingers, too. Okay, Carl Schultz says, can you remind us how to test your router bit sharpness so we know when to send them in? Okay, so if you get magnifiers on and you take your bit and you shine light right on it, I really need to do another video. I did a video on this. So what you need to do is look at it with really bright light on it. And with magnifiers, when you see it's shiny on the edge, like I mean right on the edge, not to the edge, but right on the edge, that's an indication that microscopically it's kind of rounded over. I taught this to you when you were over there. And it makes a huge difference. This is what I've learned. Dad taught me to sharpen bits a long time ago, but this is something that, um, that I've learned over the last six, seven years is when I see that really shining right on the edge, that's when I know that uh, it definitely needs to be touched up. So it should it should be, you know, your grind should be right to Oops, the edge. Oh, sorry, fingers aren't getting in the camera. Um, also, one other thing that I had noticed, because I have a hard time telling when my bits are sharp or dull, if it feels like you're pushing the bit through the wood, then it's dull. If it feels like you have to control it, otherwise it's just going to go through like butter, like it's harder to control it, yeah. for me, anyway. Yeah. I was doing a big sign, and uh, I was having a hard time carving it, and then I switched to a brand new bit that I got from this guy, and uh, <laughs> um, and I almost ruined the good sign. Good plug. Yeah. Good job, <laughs> son. And I, I almost ruined the sign because I was used to pushing it through, and as soon as I put that new bit in, it almost went completely and, and yeah, ruined the Somebody uh, wants sign. to know what happens yeah. if you have to hammer it through. You have to hammer <laughs> it through. Not a good sign. That might be an indication. Yeah, you're yeah. doing something wrong. Yeah. Um, somebody right. else asked about the magnifiers, where to get them. They can't find them anywhere. Um, they're in our Amazon store. So if you go to any of our videos, except for these lives, because I haven't edited all of those, but any of our other recent videos down in the bottom, there'll be a link over to our Amazon store. I've got them in there. But they're made by Carson, C-A-R-S-O-N. And if you just type that, Carson Optics, I think. If you just type that and go to Amazon or even Google, um, that's the brand name of the ones that I'm using now. And I like them. They're really good. But they're in our Amazon store as well. Yep. Um, so the other thing on that, talking about pushing it through the wood. If you find that you're having a tough time, not because it's uh, not because it's carving so easy, but if you're having a tough time holding a line in a board that's a little bit harder than what it normally would be, generally either something's wrong with a router or that router bit's getting dull. Uh, if, if I'm carving for a while, and then all of a sudden it seems like I'm having a tougher time holding a line, but yet I'm carving the same kind of material. 
chances are that bit is getting dull and it's and it's getting a little bit harder to follow that line. Okay. Do you all ever use a wrap random orbital sander? I just got one and I'm sure uh, I like the cross lines it seems to make. I'm staying with the belt sander for now. What says you? Yeah, I, I like the random orbital sanders. I'm more, I grew up using a belt sander, um, but I have a random orbital sander if I want to get real down really, really fine. Generally speaking, again, my background is I've had to do things really fast because I was out there carving on site like we're going to do tomorrow. And so I needed a, a rough belt uh, and a kind of a general 120 or an 80 grit for my fine sand because I needed it to kick them out. But um, if you're doing a really nice sign that's got it, you want a nice finish on it, uh, I like the random article sanders. And a lot of guys are much more comfortable with those because a uh, sanding belt takes a while to get a hand at. Yeah. You can gouge it pretty easily. For, especially on bigger signs. Yeah, for, for me anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay. Or if you have a lot of outset letters, a lot of background, like here, you would really have to be careful if you're sanding this with your belt sander. It'd be really easy for it to tip and take off one of those edges. But the nice thing about stuff like this, right? There's several where I mess something up pretty bad, but you can never tell because it's it's supposed to look like that. It's rustic. <laughs> right? yeah. That's what um, I'm looking for. Do you charge more for an outset sign versus an inset one? Yeah. I used to get on my dad all the time. I used to tell him that he didn't charge enough for his signs and that um, outset, I, I would tell him that charging by board foot is not a good way to go. And then I tried selling signs. So it, it is more difficult to sell signs um, by specific... I don't know, variables than it is just by the board foot. So I don't charge any more for outset than I do for inset. So you go by the square foot. Hmm. Yes. What, yeah. a, what a concept. Hmm. Frank Jenkins says, I'm liking these Friday night fun with the rotans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frank. The rotans are a fun crowd. Yeah. Uh, for small outset letters, how do you recommend cleaning out the back up the background? That's uh, cleaning up the background. Charlie Wooster. So, um, say one inch letters. Let's say you know. Let's say you've got stuff like this. What I would do is I'd go shallow. This is probably about an eighth of an inch. And then um, for my uh, traditional background, I would then go deeper. So I make a second cut all the way around to give yourself that buffer zone so that you don't have to get as close with that 90 degree or the 60 degree bit. What do you think? I'm different than dad because I'm too impatient and which is a downfall, but I just go around once with the profile then I use the 90 degree. But it's a, it's a fairly deep, uh, but okay, like if you're covering, car, well, I mean, you you got just one depth here, and then you went back with your. Yeah, this was a spiral upcut. The cool yeah. thing about cleaning out with a spiral upcut is in these corners, the bottom of the spiral upcut catches all these little splinters. Yeah. So that's how I can do it with this, except for that one. But uh, we won't look that. Close. Yeah, we won't look at that one. Um, but with like the the one inch, even the A, I just take the profile down deep enough to where the uh, the profile bit will clean out the center of the A. That's that's what I do. Okay. I got a Charlie All right. in my foot. Okay. He's hobbling over there. I got a Charlie in my toe. He's uh, been driving for nine hours. <laughs> so. Grant Patterson says, watching from Scotland. Can't wait to start trying this. Hey, Grant. Right thanks, for, thanks for watching. What time is it in Scotland? It's got to be like early morning or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a um... Bert, Graham, Bert says, uh, was enjoying the chat, but the boss lady demands my presence. Have a good ah, session. Um, yeah. Uh, is there a spray that you guys use before using ink or paint to make sanding easier on pine? Um, well, on pine, I like to use sanding sealer when I first get the pine because otherwise it'll cause uh, your black will bleed into it, especially if you overspray. Now, if you're making something like this, not necessarily. No. It doesn't really matter because it's rustic again. You don't have to worry about bleeding. Uh, it's 2.20. A.M. or P.M.? 2.20 in Scotland. In Scotland? Yeah. Ah. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to so try to get... So sanding sealer. I do like sanding sealer on pine. 
if it's going to be a clean finish. Yeah. Okay. When you pull up to do points, is it more of a wrist or a forearm? Haven't started yet, but trying to learn. <laughs> yes. yes. They have to do it. <laughs> it's got to be a wrist, right? I think it's a wrist. It, it's got to be wrist because if it's forearm, then you have to... It, yeah, no, it, it wouldn't. So if, if I'm trying to pull, if I'm making these stars inset here, I wouldn't just use my forearms or my arms. It definitely is wrist. It's got to be wrist. It's right. wrist. That's and, the only way to get a smooth Yeah, transition. and you've got your base. If this is your base plate, wow. you know, you're pulling it up this way. It's 318 in Norway. 318 in Norway. Uh, yeah, almost eight. bedtime. Was waiting for your live chat. 4 p.m. Well, in Hawaii. You. Oh, she says a.m. to something in a.m. Oh, my gosh. Man. Staying up just for you. I'm they heard you were going to be on. You know what? Uh, hello. Can I hope All right. It's the shirt. <laughs> Boys. Uh, hello. Can you speak a mill a minute when... Huh? Speak in mill a minute when explain the proof of... Oh, uh, this is from Mexico. Um, okay. Can you speak in mill when explain the proof of the... Pro I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, millimeters? If you're talking about oh, millimeters, oh, metric. Right? Yeah, millimeters. Met metric. So, so, so a quarter inch is um, like 6.35 oh, millimeters, I think, if I remember right. Because I've done that. Millimeters, I've done that conversion yeah. Because in Europe, everything is, is metric. There is right. no quarter inch, eighth inch, right, yeah. um, that kind of thing. So I believe that um, you have to have the right call it. Um, for your router. So I think that, um, again, you guys over in Europe. Um, huh? I don't know. It's just an interesting dilemma that comes I up. Had to, I, I had to Google it. I, and I Google it. If you Google, times. you can do it. I think uh, it's, you can do a, a conversion. conversion. So uh, I, think, I think quarter inch is 6.35 millimeters, if I'm, I think, if I remember right. So you have to have a special call it in order to take a quarter inch bit, but you may be able to find bits over there that will work for you that are already set up for that. So there's six millimeter and eight millimeter. What would, I mean, where they buy stuff in different countries, wouldn't it all be in millimeter? You would think, but yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's beer time in but Minnesota. But if they want to buy the bits from us, which we ship internationally, and they're a quarter inch, then for their router, they would need that call it that would accept. Oh, I or, or some okay, kind, you'd have to have an eight uh, eight millimeter and then a sleeve that would take a quarter. All right, who minute. is it? Somebody's near Modesto. This am my. I'm not sure. I can't read what it says. Who, uh, tell me your name if you're in Modesto. In Modesto, that's right uh, down the road. It says yeah. near Modesto. Um, uh, so Denny to... says it's beer time in Minnesota. Darwin says Denny, it's always beer time. If there's anybody out there that has a ranch that has nice big deer on it, let me know. All right. Would you suggest right using there. a call it reducer or smaller bit for detail? I say that again. Uh, would you suggest using a call it reducer or a smaller bit for detail? Uh, you know what? I know a lot of the guys are using the CNC uh, bits that are um, like eighth inch, and so you can get a call it reducer from quarter down to eighth and use All those right, CNC bits. All right, be nice, bits. guys. Honestly, the SC50 quarter inch shake is all I ever need. I can carve as small a detail as I need to with that SC50. And um, I, I'm just, I'm not necessarily a big fan of the CNC bits, although there's a lot of guys that use them. So, uh, and they're super cheap. Um, I, I like, I, you know, I like our bits and that SC50 gets as small as I need it to get. And I don't have to mess with any kind of reducer. <laughs> he said deers don't stand a chance there. I'm starting, uh, for starting out, am I better to get a palm router or a bit router? Uh, well, here's the thing, is I like the palm routers. Most people, uh, you know, some guys like the bigger routers. I like the palm routers, either the, the DeWalt or the Rigid or the Makita. Uh, what's, your, what's your opinion? I, I have the Rigid um, 2401. Yeah, the I think that's the, the, real, the palm router. Yeah. And I love that thing. I actually like it more than my DeWalt, the... 611? Six, six yeah. yeah. I like it more than the, the DeWalt because it's it's smaller, it's quieter, yeah. um, and it has just as much And you know, I do like I, it. The only thing I don't like is the, the depth adjustment. You know what? Yours is the only one like that. Like when, mm -hmm. when you take the base off, yeah. remember how it was kind of hard? Mine comes off nice and easy. 
Really? Yeah. But I mean, the depth adjustment with that wheel goes up and down. Maybe mine is just sticky. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I, to answer your question, I like the palm routers. Um, they're just easier to maneuver. Um, for me, I, I just since I started doing that four or five years ago, and I've never seen anybody do it before I did, I like the palm routers. Yeah. Somebody had them. asked earlier um, if you use a, a router table. A router table? Um, I have a router table. I hardly ever use it. When cutting shapes, I generally do it uh, with my bigger router, uh, but it can be done with a router table. If you're doing, um, you know, if you want to chamfer the back of your signs or even the front of them, a router table can come in handy. Uh, my dad likes to collect router tables for various reasons. Among other tools. He we has, still have tools in boxes. I think we've got six router tables to date. Which makes it kind of nice because when I go visit, I always come home with a present. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I do like router tables. However, I hardly ever use them uh, for making signs. Okay, any other okay. questions? All right, so. Um, and do you have any announcements? Oh. What? Okay, sign, yeah. giveaway. Yeah, so the giveaway sign. So, we had talked about, can you guys hear me? Can Dave adopt me? Um, <laughs> that's Frank. Um, we had talked about doing the giveaway today. But we are not doing the giveaway tonight. We, you have a week to enter into the contest. We decided that it wasn't really fair to everybody that doesn't get on YouTube to watch the live. So we wanted to open it up to everybody. So everybody can send me an email and we will do the drawing this coming Friday here. A week from now. A week from now. Yep. At our, on our live. And um, we'll be doing the giveaway then. That way everybody has a chance to enter. But you don't have to be present on that live. Just send you do Vicky not have to be live. Yeah, you so, don't have to be on the live. So no. send Vicky an email, Vicky with Dave Signs at Gmail. Okay, and it's V I C K I W I T H D A V E S I G N S at Gmail. Yeah, um, I feel like we should have made a sign. And I know, huh? <laughs> but you know, go to any of the the recent videos. Um, and it, the, the link is down in there. Vicky's Mickey, email. we saw your question. We, an, we answered the question about doing the background. Which right? background? Which well, one? Ask the so, question again, Mickey. Is that Mickey Sewell? Yeah. S-U-H-L? I think so. Yeah. I thought we answered that. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. Ask again. Um, so anyway, yeah, we didn't think it was really fair that only the people that can watch the live thing. So everybody can enter one, please, uh, one entry per person. With your first and last name. Yeah. So you can just put in, I don't know what you want to put them in the subject. <laughs> what was that? Ron Pendleton says, thank you for giving this old man a reason to get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ron. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So, All right. um, yeah, yeah, so we'll be giving the, the sign away a week from today. We won't be shipping it because we'll still be here a week from and then we're leaving uh, the following weekend. So, but we'll be shipping it and I've got a nice finish on it. So surprise, it's Arizona. Surprise? <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Right down the road. Yeah, so, okay. All right. We got people, you guys are from all over. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Um, so... We are going to wrap it up now. Okay. So any last questions? <laughs> Michael Porter says sawdust is cheaper than meds. Yes. <laughs> and you don't need insurance. That's yeah. That, that's a good sign. Yeah, that is a good sawdust sign. Yeah, I think we did answer the question about the cleanup on the background. Yeah, I, I think it was like, how would you do cleanup around? Oh, small around the wood or yeah. Oh, yeah. Small. Just a ninety degree for me. Yeah, no, Frank. If I, I didn't cut them off, I, uh, Frank, they'd be talking all night long. <laughs> Frank's telling you to let, let him go. Going. No, no, no. I was not using caps to help Vicky see the questions easier. Thank you. <laughs> we tried. Uh, we tried a, the live the other day with the iPad, but it would just. It kept wouldn't losing, work. It kept it losing the signal, and so we had to go back to the phone. I don't know. So, we okay, well, that's there. it. Say goodbye. All right, you guys. That is it. So, um, be expecting to see some lives from me over the next few days because I've got several different things planned 
I'm going to do some video, but I'm also going to do some lives. I think we're going to do a live from the the uh, event tomorrow. Yeah. To give you guys a, an idea of what we're doing. Which uh, I think it'd be kind of cool. Really, is any? It's not an event. No, it's I, just a. It's, it's just it's a, a fruit place. stand that's been there for 30 years, and I stopped and asked if I could park in their parking lot. So yeah, and you know, the guy was cool with it. Yeah. So, yeah. And you're uh, you're giving him a commission, right? I am giving a commission. But it's, I'm really bad at negotiating. It's terrible. My wife does all the negotiating. I wish I'd have taken her. But, but it still was a good deal. I it's going to be a great deal. It's going to work out. Right. Somebody asked real quick, when when's the next sign carver of the day? Probably be the week we get back. The week we get back, I'll do a, another big uh, sign carvers of the day. I was going to bring some with me. and uh, mm. anyway, well, The week we get back, we'll definitely be doing a sign carvers of the day. All right. So, so All right, you guys. Say goodnight, so, Gracie. You will see us. Um, I'll, I'll be posting something on Wednesday, um, uh, a Monday and Wednesday, but uh, you know it may be a live thing. I'm not sure yet. So we're going to kind of shoot from the hip, but I got a lot of a see lot of kind of uh, possibilities. So yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, um, guys. Questions? Email me, Eric at makeawoodsign.com. Uh, if you want, if you're around this area, Modesto or whatever. And uh, you want to get together and hang out, just shoot me an email and we'll see if we can work it out. Except for Sunday morning. We're going dub hunting. Going dub Say good night, Gracie. Good night, guys. Bye. Thank you. Oh, wait. I have to take it off of this thing, huh? I know, huh? Oh.